Yo, what is going on guys? It is Thursday, February 20th, 2020, and I bring to you uh, my computer rig. So those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you probably remember pre pre previously, from a while back, we saw the uh, uh, 2880 Ti Kingpin, and then I went to a 2080 Super by MSI, and then after some time of gaming on the Super, don't get me wrong, it was a great GPU, I decided to go back to the 2080 Ti. So this is basically the same version of MSI Gaming X Trio, uh, 2080 Ti version. And I think it's essentially the same cooler. It may be a little bit longer and the only main difference is there's also three uh, PCI Express connectors and of course uh, 11 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 RAM or DDR6 RAM. And so basically it's all the same i9 9900KS CPU water cooled by the H1, uh, Corsair A2159 Pro and G-Skill uh, 16 gigabyte DDR4 CL14 uh, timings uh, RAM, and then the top I got two 140 millimeter fins, and the rear 190 millimeter, and then I got the radiator for the Corsair uh, water cooler mounted in the front as an intake, and then the CPU I do right now 31C. So I will show you the benchmark scores, uh, basically stock and overclocked. And then I'll go on from there. So see you guys soon. Peace out. Off, off to the benchmark scores. Now this was actually with the 9900K, which I actually was testing out when I did these benchmarks. But uh, this was at stock. The i9900K at stock, 4.7 gigahertz. And the uh, RTX 2080 Ti at stock. And then overclocked uh, with the CPU overclocked at 5.1 gigahertz. And then the GPU, as you can see, clocked uh, at those speeds. And also, it was nice that the 2080 Ti came with the same sound memory. Almost every single time I've used a uh, RTX uh, graphics card with a micron memory, it almost always fails. So definitely make sure you have same sound memory if you plan to, uh, you know, hold on to GPU for a while. So Port Royal 9976, that was both with overclocked CPU and GPU. And then stock was 9011. And then, let's see, my top, or this is the stock score for TimeSpy. And then my overclock, my final overclock settings, 15,060, uh, let's see, 2,000 megahertz memory on the GPU and an 1888 uh, GPU boost overclock. And then my CPU, for some reason, uh, Time Spy required me to lower my CPU overclock to just a 5 gigahertz even. So I'm guessing uh, with the 9900KS it'll be just a slight bump up, not a huge difference actually in scores. Uh, if I look at my previous scores, the i9 9900KS. But overall, happy with the uh, upgrade back to the 2080 Ti. And the reason I went back to it is because I just seemed like I needed more uh, video memory for uh, running 4K games. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys around. Peace out.